Hi guys, as promised in my last video, I basically have Disney collection for you today. And it was actually more difficult to collect all of these puzzles than I thought it was gonna be. When I got the Aladdin puzzle from my sister, I basically assembled it and it was really enjoyable. And then my sister assembled it as well and she loved it too. Because the quality of the puzzle is really good, the picture is like so pretty. So basically what then happened is we saw all the pictures in the back of the box and we decided that we're kind of gonna like create a mini Disney collection. So they're basically gonna be the puzzles that are gonna be a part of my permanent collections. So any other puzzle that comes in after I assemble it I basically just exchange it or give it away and these are gonna be the ones that are just gonna be you know there. Like they're not going anywhere. <laughs> so we basically checked the back of the box to see which ones we liked and then we went to the shop to see which ones we can actually get. As you can see, there's quite a few puzzles and some of my favorites, some of my sister's favorites, you know, some of the ones that we both liked. So it's a bit of a mixture. And all of the puzzles are Thousand Pieces by Schmidt and a part of Dreams Collection and the art is done by Thomas Kincaid. So let's just start with the first one. The first puzzle in this collection was my choice and the title of this one is The Lion King. So I really liked The Lion King growing up and when I saw this picture, I just, you know, had to have it. And it's just something about it, I don't know, there's so many little details and I think that's always the beauty with Disney because even when you have the sky there's like a picture of the lion in the sky and all of those small little details and the animals all across the puzzle so it's just, it's bringing so much joy to me and I love Disney and I know that the quality of the puzzle is really good and I just cannot wait to do them all if I'm honest with you so yeah, that's the first one the second one on the list was also my choice, and this one is called Peter Pan's Neverland. I also really liked Peter Pan when growing up, but that was not the main reason I got this puzzle. I think with this particular picture, what got me was the colours. I love this, I don't even know what the colour is, it's like turquoise or like tail green, but I just love the colour of the sea, like I absolutely adore it, and then again, what I mentioned with the last puzzle as well. Like they've got so many little details. So it's got like, you've got mermaid sitting here and then you've got like the rainbow and their little fire in the back. It's just, everything is just so nice. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself. Like I want to do all of the puzzles and I'm really gonna enjoy all of the puzzles. So I'm not gonna say this for everyone, but you know, definitely something to look forward to. Up next is the one that my sister got me and the title of this one is Aladdin. You've probably already seen this puzzle because it appeared in multiple videos of mine and this is the reason why I'm having this video today and why I basically decided to have this, you know, mini Disney collection. So I'm really happy that it happened. I'm so happy that she found this puzzle because I have been looking at these puzzles for a while in the shop and I just didn't make that first step to buying them. But then when I got this one and when I assembled it, it just pushed me over the edge, I guess. And, you know, this happened. <laughs> The next puzzle was my sister's choice and the title of this one is Tangled. This is one of the cartoons that is quite recent for me. I think I watched it for the first time about 10 years ago, but I really liked it and my sister absolutely loved it. And I think she rewatched it like five times, if not even more. So that's why that's her pick more than mine. Up next is a puzzle that we both liked and this one is called The Little Mermaid. What really got me with this puzzle is the fact that it basically got both worlds in the puzzle. So you've got all of the sea world in the bottom half of the puzzle and then you have all of like the other like air world, I guess. <laughs> and again, all of the small details, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's just like whatever you can see on the picture when you're doing the puzzle and it's so much bigger, you can see all of the details so much more and that's the one thing that makes those puzzles really enjoyable to assemble. The next puzzle we also chose together and the title of this one is Beauty and the Beast's Winter Enchantment. There were two different Beauty and the Beast puzzles, but we both like this one because it's got this magical winter fairy tale land and I think it's definitely gonna be one of the puzzles that's gonna have to be assembled like in December because it's just so fitting. 
Like, I know it's not that colorful like the other puzzles, but it's just something about it is that like the winter magic and I just love winter and like the first month. But this winter magic just, you know, got to me. The next puzzle was my sister's choice and the title of this one is Cinderella Dancing in the Starlight. I'm actually quite annoyed with this puzzle. Well, not the puzzle itself, not with the picture. It's just, they didn't have like a normal thousand piece box. Like the only way you could get this puzzle is by buying the puzzle pad with it. And as you can see, the box is quite a lot thicker. So it kind of disturbs my collection. <laughs> it's not ideal, I guess. And the worst part about it is that I hate puzzle pads. Like, I genuinely don't know what to do with it. Like, I haven't even opened it yet. I'm just hoping that maybe I can exchange it for like a 500 piece puzzle or something. So at least I'm gonna have some use out of it. Basically, they had two Cinderella pictures as well, but she didn't like the other one. She wanted specifically this one. And yeah, I'm okay with that, I guess. I'm just thinking if I ever find a normal thousand piece puzzle box for this specific puzzle, I'm gonna buy it and swap it. <laughs> So this was my small Disney collection. I've got seven puzzles out of 25, I think. There's still one I want to get and it's the Alice in Wonderland because I really like how it's got two worlds again. It's got the Wonderland and then just the normal land at the top. So I think I'm still gonna try to expand this collection, but for now this is it. And obviously if I get any new ones, I'll definitely update you on that. But if you wanna see the Aladdin one I've already done, just watch this video up next. Bye.